Last night's TWAB dropped specs of information about the future of the game and paving the road for Shadow Keep, and this includes a brief glimpse at a few new mods which we will discuss today and try and put a few names and uses to said mods. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos. Okay, so over the coming weeks, we will be getting new information on the next major DLC expansion for Destiny 2. Seen on screen now, although not exact dates given, these are a few of the things we can look forward to. Next week, we do have a live stream, which we can look forward to though, which will showcase armor customization and building a better monster killing machine. This happens on August 14th, 10 a.m. Pacific on Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer. With this information, we see this GIF, which you can see on screen now, which we can see rotate between current mods and all new mods. Today, we're going to hopefully put names and usage to said mods. Okay, so I've broken down this GIF into a few images, which I believe we can see every mod it showcases, so we can speak of um, said mods today. I will however state I do believe this won't be the entire collection of armor and weapon mods come Shadow Keep, as within the Vidark a while back, we do see other mods not on this list, which you can see on screen now. So getting into this list, firstly we see many new additions as well as some I believe just revamps also given mods that had the same icon but different effects their own personal image. Those we will skip. Firstly I noticed trace rifles have their very own mods now because currently I believe it's auto rifle mods which work alongside trace rifles. It's good to actually see trace rifles getting their own set. Now what this actual mod is and what it does I have no idea but we do see it represented by every weapon type. Now I'm sure this back image behind the weapon is the same image used in the ammo finder perk already in game. So I'm thinking these new mods will be some kind of enhanced ammo finder for said weapon or it could combine ammo finder and scavenger into the same perk for said weapons. That would be badass. We also see what I believe to be enhanced reload perks. Yes, that standard variant we have in game now, these are seriously important for certain loadouts. We see new versions represented by a plus sign on the same icons. So I'm pretty certain what we're seeing here are enhanced versions of the reload perks. We do see Yi Hand Cannon, Grenade Launchers, Rocket Launchers, and Shotguns. Now, like I pointed out earlier, I'm certain. Any weapon we don't see represented by a mod here, we will see when a shadow keep drops. Next up, we see this new mod type, a school with certain icons within them. We see melee, grenade, health, reload, ammo, and so forth. What I believe these are, are finishing move mods. So finishing an enemy restores health, reloads weapon, refills current equipped weapon, recharges grenade, and so forth. So these could be pretty cool and useful for that matter. This next set of perks I believe could be one of two different things, or they could indeed represent two different things, but just look very similar. The top on the left we will start with first looks like a class item perk, but the icon within looks a lot like the Hive Invigoration perk we have in game now, and saying this, the two on the right also seem to represent that same icon. Now I think what we could be seeing here are Gambit specific perks, as this icon could represent molts. But this is just me guessing at this point people. I have no doubt that the Hive Configuration perk or mod will be back, but seeing four different variants of it doesn't make sense to me. These next two mods are clearly a standard and enhanced version, obviously something to do with ammo. Could we be seeing a mod which represents all types of ammo, because we know kinetic, special and power ammo finders are already there. Could these represent ammo as a whole? That would be seriously interesting to think about. These next set of mods for some reason scream Transcendent Blessing and Riven's Curse at me. Those are still here though, but I have a feeling these mods we see might have something to do with the new Black Garden raid, the Garden of Salvation. Or they could be tied to the moon and what we will come to experience and unlock there. Again with this next set of new mods, uh, the five on the right which do share the same kind of design theme of the ones I just covered, they scream moon at me. Something about this design just reminds me of Crota, Eris Morn, the moon, what do you guys think? The two on the left I have no idea what these could be tied to, maybe a new blessing or curse of some kind, who knows. Next up we see another new set of mods I believe, that these four perks again seem to be a standard and enhanced version of one another. 
If I had to guess again, I'd say these are tied to a certain instance of the game. Maybe a new activity or again they could be a part of the raid or even moon related. Maybe exclusive weapon related to top, which we will get from the new raid or the moon. We will see. It's just that the design of these is just way different to everything we are used to. And see here. Now we are coming to an end people but we can confirm traction is returning. This over the past month I've seen loads of talk on. Some people want this to be a standard default setting that we can toggle on and off in our settings. Some people complaining about it on PC saying it don't work properly and other people like myself just really ain't bothered. But for those wondering, traction it seems is making a return. Now people do have probably a few mods here which I've missed if you do want to point them out and tell me what you think they could be let me know down below in that comment section. Next week with armor customization we should see a lot more about these which I as usual will have you covered right here on my channel and if anything else comes people over the next coming weeks again I will have you covered right here on my channel so make sure you subscribe if you are new around here. On that note guys we have though come to the end of the video tell me what you think about these mods the ones I've covered tell me if you think I'm wrong tell me what you think they could be and just let me know your general opinion on the new mod 2.0 system. But on that note guys we have come to the end if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one